Okay, so this uh, song I like to perform for you now. Uh, this is song the chord changes are the same as um, there'll never be another you, that kind of thing. Uh, it's swinging. Um, it's done in the key of E flat. And um, I'm going to use some of the things that I've learned from Joe Pass, point them out to you. Okay, so let's talk uh, about the what I did and break down a few things for me. You might notice in uh, the very first part of it, um, I'm using the language of bebop, just like Joe. Um, so one of the most famous bebop phrases is boo doo boo dee do da doo ba. Everybody does that. It's a part of the language in order uh, to speak it. That has to be ingrained in your language as well. And it's a way that uh, sometimes you start solos as well. Um, so you'll notice that I did that. That's one of the things that, that I got from Joe. And then there's some other things later uh, moving along where Joe plays um, into, uh, he uses this chord. He uses that going into uh, C minor, which is part of the chord. And... Um, some of the tools I was talking about uh, using them like um, uh, his slurring. Going from a minor chord to a, a dominant seventh chord, using those phrases, making that phrase one note, change one note and making it fit that phrase as well. Uh, and then uh, there was another part where you're moving along and you're going up into a 2-5 to get back to the top of the tune. Uh, it's using that whole tone thing. There was a using that as well. And there was one thing that I learned from him too, where you can take a whole phrase and you can move it down a half step. So when we got to here, Then when you move on, that's one of his major things uh, that he does all of the time that I got there. I use that all of the time as well, but now I use my own information, but using the same technique. So in other words, if you're playing C minor, F7, and then you're playing uh, F minor 7 to B flat, he just does it this way. And then he moves down a half step and plays the same phrase. And it gets you to the root. So that's one of the main techniques that he uses all the time as well. Um, and um, pretty much that's most of it that's in that solo. But there's many, many other uh, tools that he uses that I would advise you to check out Joe Pass 
anything that you can get on him, you his all his playing is just you know like a, it's always going to be major level. And um, he actually started the uh, solo guitar stuff later, but the single note pl playing and uh, chord melody stuff, he's one of the best cats in the world to be able to take that out and you know, take it off the records. So I would advise you to do that. But anyway, that capsulizes, you know, what we're talking about, checking out Joe Pass and getting what you can from him. <laughs> 